Hi folks, Doug Reed back with you again. A quick safety tip, make sure that all of your locks are locked down. This is always important, but even more so when you're setting up to do this shaper operation. And there's one extra lock you'll see here in just a moment. Now, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and set up my shaper cutter on the shaper arbor. Pick out your profile, use the directions that came with it, and that will show you how to do that. Then I attach that to the uh, main spindle of the Mark V. By the way, folks, I do have the machine unplugged at this point. You probably can't see it, but it is unplugged. Uh, there you see the cord hanging down. I have the uh, shaper um, insert ready to go, and now I'm tilting the table and locking it. The reason for that is I'm going to reverse it, and with the new, um, the new double tilt, not only do you get all new castings on both ends for tilting, you also get the new legs that allow you to put the table in either direction. It really expands the capability of the machine. I've taken off the, uh, the tie bar plastic cover down below, slide everything approximately in place. I like to slide the table and the headstock all the way down to the left to get those locked down. And I get my, uh, my depth of cut, as I said, just about where I want, and I just want to make sure that there's clearance and it's about there. I'll do my final um, uh, adjustments once I tilt it up. Uh, let's get the un uh, headrest lock unlock on the right-hand side. So with the cord uh, out of the way, everything locked down, now we can just pivot it right on up to the uh, shaper mode. Make sure that the uh, pivot lock is locked down here. Um, guys, I was asked if you could use the lift assist on both sides of the machine. As you can see, you really don't need to because you got the leverage working for you. Now all I have to do is my fine adjustments.